My kids have a lot of sports, and I go to a lot of games like soccer and softball and all this kind of stuff. And I don't like using camping chairs. I like sitting in an old-style aluminum lawn chair. And the reason I like aluminum lawn chairs is because it's super light, and you don't have it's a lot easier to carry way out to the ball field from the car because you can't usually park right next to it. So anyway, I've been using this old lawn chair for a long time, and just the other day it started getting to its last little legs here. I got two little strands maybe left on this one. And this is about ready to go, this one. So I think if I take it any farther, I'm gonna bust right through the bottom of it. So I decided I would try to redo the webbing on it. And it doesn't look like it's too hard, and I ordered a kit for a few bucks, like five or six, some seven bucks, something off of Amazon. So I'm gonna try to redo the webbing in here. I'm gonna go with traditional green. So here we go. Um, it doesn't look too hard. I think all I have to do really is unscrew these and uh, replicate what we got going already. So I'm going to do that. Let me start taking some of these off. So in the new pack, it obviously doesn't come with any of these little grommets. So we're going to have to see how well this works. I think I'm going to just try to replicate what they've done here. Fold it over. Like so. And screw through that. And I'll want to do it, probably just do it exactly the same length as they have. So. Just folding it over and then folding it over on top of itself. And I think this is actually uh, feels pretty thick. I think once the screws in there, it's going to hold it down without the grommet. Although maybe uh, I should look at putting some sort of uh, washer on there potentially. And, uh, let me see if I have some washers that it might actually hold it a little bit better if I. Uh, So I did happen to have a number of washers that will seem to do pretty well at pinching down the fabric. So I'm going to give those a shot. And uh, so let me lay out the, I'm going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, eight of this length first. So I'll just do those, cut those all first. The washers, nice and tight. Put this one around. Another reason I like these chairs more than a camping chair is that these have a straight back on them, and the camping chairs kind of give it in it makes me feel like I'm slouching I guess when I'm sitting in a camping chair so these lawn chairs seem to keep me sitting a little more straight up and down which I like all right so I got all the horizontal strips on and now I'm going to do all the ones that run uh, vertical base so the kit only has 39 feet in it and it says it can do one whole chair so I'm just interested to see how much extra they give me but uh, so I'm gonna start cutting or pre-cutting these to see uh, for, for the lengths for the long one I was wanting to tell you another reason a few other reasons actually why I like a uh, like a uh, a chair like this much more than uh, your camping style chair and that's because 
it doesn't capture a lot of water it might get a little wet here but it's not like you know like those camping chairs have that concave seat which just can trap a bunch of water if it rains and then you come back to it and the other thing is is it it's always hard to get those camping chairs back into their little case little, little pouches little sleeves and if you're at a concert late at night where it's dark it's often hard to uh it's often hard to find that case and someone else might have grabbed it and put their chair inside of it or something like that so anyway that's an, another reason why i kind of like just the lawn chair you fold it up and go you don't have all this monkeying around with the other the the holder You see how I was um, basically I left about the same distance from here to here from here to here because that little triangle that's made there so so I could estimate the distance does that make sense so whatever this little triangle is this triangle you'd need to leave a little extra space for the folding so this should be the exact length then of the, of the strip so I'm gonna cut all the rest of them which I need one, two, three, four, five. I need five of these for all the vertical runs. And if you have a chase lounge style of chair, they say you need two of these packs, I guess, but we'll see if this gives me enough for, for one, how much extra they give you. Yeah, it looks like they're gonna give me plenty extra. So if you screw up one, let's see. Let's see, let's see if I make one too short, would I have one extra? So if I botch one up, would I have enough for one extra? Yeah, plenty. So that's a good thing. Like, it, So if I would have cut one too short, I could have screwed up one time, which is uh, somewhat reassuring. So I'll go ahead and fold this up and start working on uh, doing this. So first I'll do this. Go around the back. I was thinking maybe I should use a screw gun with this, but then I thought about it again, and I didn't want to strip out the, the aluminum, because once the aluminum gets stripped, then I'm going to have to go to a bigger size of screw, so I don't really want to actually use a screw gun and over uh, crank it over too high, hard. So this one will go behind. Uh, and I can really kind of hold it with my finger. You might, if you have an extra helper and extra hands, they, they could grab it with pliers and get you a little more tension on that maybe, but it seems like I'm able to hold it pretty good with just my fingers. All right, so I have almost all of them on here. I'm just gonna interleave them down the bottom. Okay, does that all look right? Let's see before. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I'm pretty no, sure. No, these two are the same. Oops. Are same? See, it's easy to mess up on this, so. Under. You need bug. to go over right there at the start. Under. Right there, right? Very simple weaving and I can easily screw it up. Okay, so I'm double checking everything. I think we're good. Yes, 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 everything looks good. So I'll cinch these last three down. Okay, last one. All right, so here, as my final tip, don't try the chair out yourself, just in case you did a bad job. Make sure that someone else tries it out first for you before you sit in it. So what do you think? Is feels it working? Pretty good. Is yeah, it working? Feels pretty stiff. You can bounce on it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. All right. And then you can try, make it, and make sure that since it didn't fail, 
Oh yeah, that's really nice. That's really nice. I like I like that. So there you have it. Uh, that was like seven bucks and a few washers that didn't come in the kit. So maybe you'd order some washers or if you've lost some screws, you can order some new screws, but looks a lot better. Should last me for another 15 years, 20 years. Thanks for watching.